You know, our perspective is the same thing as view. The two words are the same. So when you talk about right view, you are actually talking about a good perspective of the way you see life. And when we carry out an impersonal perspective, it affects us in a better way than if we take everything personally. So perspective affects mind. This is how this works. Our mind is the forerunner of all arising states and our body follows our mind and reacts to what the mind is thinking. So, restlessness, that's a hindrance. It's a state and it happens first in the mind and then it follows and flows through the body. Do you have a nervous leg? Do you tap on the table? Do you keep shifting in the position in your sitting in chair at work or in meditation? That sort of thing. We can't stay calm to see what's going to happen in some event that we are involved in in life unless we stop this personal attention on arising hindrances like restlessness, guilt, or remorse, sloth, or torpor, for instance. But it's okay, because there is a solution. You see, you and I have a thing called volition. Volition is our will. It is kind of like our choice what to do in any situation. And then we apply our will to carry out what we're going to do. So we can change the situation and the outcome of what's happening by not taking anything very, very personally. We have to see things clearly. And so when we do that, we're practicing anatta, and anatta is the impersonal nature of everything. Now, we can let go of the movement of our body, relax our mind, smile into what we are watching or what we are doing to see what is really essentially going on. And then we have clearer thinking. We can do this during our daily life. And this is how meditation works in life. Meditation is life. Life is meditation, but we have to realize how they're intertwined and help each other. Because of training with TWIM, we train our mind like this, and it becomes clear that in the world we think we want to build someday the dreaming about a perfect world where everyone is kind and gets along and such as that. It's already inside your mind. Right now, it's in there, already real. All it takes, we just have to know how what you think and ponder on becomes the inclination of your mind. And remember, mind and dreams always flow into action. So here's the thing. If you want a perfect day, start it with smiling. Whatever's going on in the morning, forgive it. Let it go. Relax, smile, and come back. Think about TWIM. Have fun today and share your smiles. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.